The Round Table Hold is the main central hub in Elden Ring. Here you'll be able to find most of the NPCs that you'll meet during your travels, who you can talk to and accept a variety of quests from which will yield some pretty valuable rewards if completed. Aside from these though, there are many other benefits of unlocking this location, including access to multiple secret merchants who can sell you powerful weapons and spells. You can also upgrade your weapons, which is vital if you're still struggling with some of the early game bosses. So we're going to be showing you how to get there as early as possible and what you can expect when you arrive. Getting to the round table hold is not something that will likely happen by accident. It may take you hours and hours of in-game playtime to find it. In order to get there though, you'll need to receive an invitation. Then you'll be able to fast travel to and from the hold. So there's actually no way that you can just stumble across this by exploring the map. Instead, you'll have to do a couple of things to be offered the invitation. Firstly, you'll have had to have spoken to Melina for the first time and received the Spectral Steed Whistle. This happens as soon as you've discovered Three Sites of Grace, so it can be done within minutes of entering Limgrave for the first time. Now all you need to do is visit any Site of Grace outside of Limgrave and you'll be met by Melina once again, who this time will offer you an invite to the Round Table Hold. So which Site of Grace outside of Limgrave is the quickest to get to after starting the game? Well, I'll show you two different ones that take a similar amount of time. The first one is the route that I personally took to get there. Start at the Gatefront Site of Grace and make your way southeast to the Stone Bridge. Head over it and then take a left. Follow the path here all the way down until you reach this ruin. Go under the ruin and run straight past the giant walking around. This will take you to the third church of Marika. You can pick up some really valuable items here so make sure you do this and rest at the site of grace. Now if you look behind the church in this small swamp you'll notice what looks like wind funneling into a portal. If you approach this you'll be asked if you want to teleport to another location. It sounds ominous but if you follow these steps you'll be just fine. Accept this offer and you'll be plopped right in front of a huge door. Whatever you do, do not turn around and run down the steps, as this will initiate a boss fight. Trust me, you'll get slapped. Instead, run straight forwards and open the door. Now rest at this site of grace and boom, you'll trigger the cutscene with Melina and receive your invitation to the round table hold. The second route is much safer, but it does take a little bit longer. Start again at the gatefront site of grace and head southeast, but this time turn left and head up this hill. There are some opponents on horseback that will try and swing for you, but you should be able to just run straight past them. Keep going up the hill and turn right at the cliff in front. There'll be a spirit spring here which you'll want to use. This will launch you all the way up onto the hill above, where you'll see a few giants residing. Run straight up the hill and avoid them. Keep going until you find the camp at the end of it and turn left here. Now follow this road for a long time, until you reach the Stormhill Shack. From here you can head north and straight up this path. Go through the bushes and you'll arrive at this bridge. Go over the bridge and follow the path around, then follow this path all the way around the cliff and you'll come to an opening where there is a site of grace. This site will also grant you access to the round table hold once you rest at it. So after you've triggered the cutscene and been invited, you'll be transported to the hold, where you can explore the many merchants and NPCs that it has to offer. As mentioned earlier, you can now make upgrades to your weapons and buy summons, stone sword keys and many more valuable items that can't be bought elsewhere. So now you've gained access to the hold, you might be wondering how you exit. Well, it's pretty simple. The only way you can get into the hold and exit is by fast travelling. So go ahead and open up your map and you can depart. So that was our guide on how to access the round table hold early in Elden Ring. Like I said, this place has many benefits and offers an array of quests and items that you didn't have access to before. So spend some time here and explore as much as possible. If this video helped you out, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video.